welcome to my channel so today i'll do a quick unboxing and we're gonna go for a ride so before doing that let's do the unboxing so first i will remove all some of the packaging and start to assemble the handlebar pretty simple just remove the mounting with four bolts and then reattach the handlebar with the same four bolts you just removed once you're done with handlebar then you would remove the fork protector and insert the wheel so before insert, inserting the wheel you need to remove the nuts from both sides and retighten from both sides the next step it would be uh, the pedals so once you attach the pedals the bikes is almost assembled then you just need to remove all this packaging material and that's how rave bullet v2 model will look once you assemble assemble is the easiest just insert the wheel tighten up attach the handlebar pedals and it's ready to roll make sure all the bolts and nuts are properly uh, tightened charge the battery uh, put a correct uh, air pressure you want this tire is actually the new by kender which looks amazing and they are up to 25 psi which is really great for the street riding and i'll show you how i will look on this bike and then i will go through the management i'm 511 so i'm kind of in between people who shop for raves they can be as short as five feet tall and some people riding them who is over six feet tall so i'm 511 and even on this bike which is the me uh, the smallest one they have i feel a position I'm very comfortable to ride and something about the rave bicycle put apart from all other brands as soon as you sit on the rave bicycle you will feel the difference right away versus many other bicycle so not only position is comfortable on this bike it feels more maneuverable because it's a smaller one and I feel like really good in control but the difference is the seat this seat is one of the best seat I reviewed many bicycle seriously 10 out of 10 comfortability it's longer actually two people can ride it i rode this type of bicycle with my kids uh, the previous model this one is the same size as gt so it's I, I have both of them i could ride with the kids and i did try i think with my wife as well so it's can carry two people now you can put packs uh, they actually have promotion and if you check if you check the website they have promotion right now free packs and free rack which is great but i want to go over some measurement as well about the like how tall this bike is and i'll give you over the some difference so it's only like almost 29 and half the shortest position over here 29 uh, inches from the ground and the highest position from the ground it's not really very flat over here about a little bit under 32 inches so it's kind of smaller bike and if you want to see gtx no problem because i will compare it with gtx as well so i will do compare right now to show you the size difference with gtx so you can know exactly which one you want because they are a little bit different but the new upgraded version like this v2 has so many features as well which is upgraded you're gonna love it so you can see the, it does not come with the fenders at all so if you decide to get fenders then you can order sometimes they do have special so you might want to check website but they gave me a special discount hundred dollars off E rights code so if you check description the code should be there as well this discount is not uh permanent they might drop it to 50 dollars so if you want to buy one of the bicycle right now uh, currently they are in stock not only they are in stock but you get 100 dollars off and you get some free packs and a rack while supply lasts while this promotion the promotion can change at any time so i recommend to act fast but that's why after this video you will know which bike you want so it does come with kender like sport city tires which is really nice it comes with a 500 watt motor which is labeled for but we're gonna actually find out today if it's more because 
from all the testing with Rave bicycles I have, the motor stickers has kind of less versus some other company put higher, but actually it's not as uh, powerful. So we're gonna check it out if it's actually 750 watt motor by performance in a hill area as well. So let me get closer so you can see all the spec with all the upgrades came on this new version V2 model. So you may already notice this model comes with only one gear. They remove the seven speed from the previous model. It's only uh, like tension uh, derailleur, which uh, keeps the chain in tension and there's only one gears. Some people may love it. Some people want seven. That's something um, consider. Actually, GTX also have one gears and they did put larger crank set over here. So the pedaling speed will be higher and you will not get the ghost pedaling as you would get before. Also the tires is a street tires. So it should be really comfortable riding on the road as well. They did upgrade the fork. It may look the same to you, but it does have like actually 70 millimeters. So it's like 70 millimeter travel right here. Uh, I think they claim only 60, but actually GTX and V2 model now have 70 millimeter travel. And it does come with a preload adjustment on this side and locking on that side. That's a very similar fork quality as on GTX, but this one is just regular fork. GTX would have a crown fork. It does come with the same headlight. I'm gonna remove this film. Same brightness. They do come with the same brakes uh, like on GTX. The only difference I'll show you as well, uh, these nice brakes with adjustment, this adjustment so you can move this leveler closer to the handle. So it will be much easier and you just adjust this way. Also, when I just received the bike, I noticed a uh, code 25 when I did unboxing. And the reason is this cable underneath, it was a little bit loose. So in order to check which one give you the code, it's a braking code, you would need to unplug one of the brake and see if the code's still there. And when you get code 25, you'll have a brake light on. The brake light on will be on when you get the code. So it means the problem with the braking sensor. So that's how you test it. You unplug one of them and then see which one is give you fault error code. Uh, and then the air code would mean that there's something to do with the sensor. The sensor cable right underneath, I just push it in back and everything is works just fine now. So Bullet V2 comes with hydraulic brakes as everybody uh, was asking for hydraulics. So they came out with hydraulic also Rave branded, but it's only still 160 millimeter disc brakes because this bike is supposed to go up to 28 miles only. With GTX, you're gonna get the same type of brakes kind of branded, but you're gonna get four piston and also you have 180 millimeter, I believe, disc on GTX model. But you're gonna get full suspension. Over here, there's no suspension, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem because I see it's so soft. It's absorbed a lot of bumps from my experience riding previous version. And the battery, it's only 13 amp battery which is not as large as GTX model, but as you can see, cable management really good. All the cables going inside the frame. It does come with the same seat as it was on the V1 model, which is most comfortable and the same size. It does include uh, this type of uh, display, which is uh, uh, also Rave branded. Uh, it's uh, easy to use this. Uh, the, there's only three pedal assist mode, up and down you move. To turn the light on, you press the upper level, it will turn on. If you want to go to the settings to change the speed, you just press the button over here and enter the code 1212. And actually you would just read the manual. You'll have all the information there. It does come with a horn now, which is loud kind of a rounded uh, full throttle um, grips over here. So it's full throttle 
and let's see what the top speed the top speed without any load can go about let's see 27 28 miles 0.3 we're gonna also check to see if this numbers is accurate by gps and the same handlebar as before which is about 27 inches wide it looks like it's a little bit thicker now so it will not really move as uh, some people say they moved same frame only they come now with four different colors you may want to check link in description to see the colors difference and it also come with tail light and brake light so it's a really uh, nice upgrades as you can see the headlight is pretty bright even daytime so the, all the upgrades are brakes tires fork the um, horn they remove the seven speed they become uh, they put larger crank set so it will be more like sport type of bicycle more like riding as e-moped style because when you're going with a higher speed you don't really need when you have a lot of power you don't really need uh, to change the gears so one gear is more than enough and then we're gonna do compare to GTX model which does have also only one gear looks like the same crank set the settings about the same the fork actually about the same fork now but this one is more crown fork and headlight attached to the fork so it moves together versus to V2 model it does not move together because it's attached to the frame that's something also difference and as you can see it comes with a rear shock uh, while this one does not have uh, the shock is full adjustable as well and you can see the much longer seat and not only longer it's also wider so two people it's a bit dirty from the last riding two people can sit on it very comfortably and it has a little bit wider handlebar and also it has um, different grips like more vegan leather and it comes with a thumb throttle versus v1 come with a full throttle different handles as well so let me sit on this bicycle and you can see the tires difference as well so i'm gonna sit on the bicycle so you can see the difference as uh, i am 511 sitting on them so first i'm gonna sit on the bullet v2 model as you can see it's a little bit smaller maybe for me but i actually love to ride this bike as well regardless the size it's actually perfect to ride as an emoped you get more maneuver with this bike it's like a little baby you really want to hug it like like you know like mm, it's so good and i am telling you that you're gonna love this bike this one is a little bit more monster like more beast style it's a little bit larger like a big brother and you can see when you sit on this bike the top position of the seat is like 35 inches from the ground the lowest one only 32 so some people can still ride this bike same display they use same basically everything this top speed on this gtx i was reaching 35 miles an hour on the flat so it's a little bit faster more torque of course but again his position uh, when i sit on this bike so you can decide and i'm 511 if you're six feet tall i don't think you're gonna get much more difference than me and if you're like and i can put my both feet on the floor over here even move a little bit more and gtx can fit somebody who is 55 i believe or 56 as well and then depend on your height you can actually move the handlebar further from you also you can buy a razor if you need to lift it up so it will be larger bike but most people will not pedal this bike as much because uh, this bike actually has uh, two batteries and they come with two options you can buy 20 amp or 28 i recommend to get 28 because you can get much more range and i did test the 20 amp only it lasts me for almost 25 miles on high speed throttle only with a lot of stop which actually give you very good uh performance for the distance and now we're gonna go for a ride and see how this rave bullet v2 perform up to the hill speed and many other tests will check the brakes if it's comfortable to pedal with no power at all and so on so let's go for a ride <music> Alright guys, 
so let's go for a ride and see how this bike bullet v2 model will perform so far it's nice acceleration feels really comfortable riding this bike i, I like a rave gt or bullet smaller ones as i said before and i stop on stop sign and we're gonna go first for the speed test to see how much performance full battery charged and um, let's see i'm gonna complete the stop and it dropped to zero and three two one go and it's going good uh, about 13 miles on this gps 70 30 20 21 22 so far 22 miles Feels like it's pushing me a little bit. 23. So so far only 23 miles, which is not actually as fast as GT model before. But we're gonna try to pedal, see if it will improve a little bit or not. With one gear and to see when I will get ghost pedaling. So I'm on gear number like basically I'm on a pedal assist level one and go. I'll tell you, probably at uh, 22 miles, you're gonna get ghost pedaling. 24, 25, 27, actually 26 was. 26 on GPS, 27 on display, and if you pedal just slowly, you'll go, still going. So GPS kind of acting crazy, but the brakes was good. And let's go for a ride and actually to see how the pedaling pedal is of one. And let's see how. Yeah, pedaling is good. So I can pedal when pedal is of one, 12 miles an hour. But I'm going to turn off the pedals at zero and slow down and see how actually pedaling so one gear yeah the pedal one gear it's not as great but actually it's not bad and throttle will not work at zero and if you set the throttle also depends on pedal assist mode so if you set to the one it will not go as fast so the three would be the top speed uh, i guess about eight months now uh, that's uh, just pedaling and it's not bad actually for my feet i know some people will say your knees will kill you and so i'm not planning to pedal it so let's go back to level three but I'm gonna test the brakes to see if they can lock the rear wheel. And actually here yeah, it's feeling 12 or oh, actually 14. So um, it is not really quick acceleration as GTX. It's gonna take time and I'm gonna stop here. Oh yeah. Uh, it's a little bit locking the wheel but uh, it's pretty good braking it's not the same as uh, on gtx gtx i think much better braking of course but it this one is uh, much better versus to the uh, prior version v1 so you do get a lot of upgrades on this bike and um, let's go for the hill let's go for the hill test and see actually if this model can climb the hill because it does produce um, a lot of peak power uh, some of them was up to 1400 I'm not sure if it's accurate and i didn't pay attention before so now i'm gonna see when i'm going back oh i see 1300 now so it does produce a lot of peak power 1400 peak power right now so now it's slowed down to 400 so I think the controller basically control 
the peak and we're gonna ride the straight first for about two and a half or three miles and then we're gonna test it the hill i'm not sure if we, this bike will make to the top of the hill but we'll test it out to see from my previous test they did make all of them but we'll see so 24 miles an hour on throttle only over here and now we're gonna ride it to the hill and see actually how the bicycle will go to the top speed over here on throttle only uh, i know that some of them uh, get better on the longer distance when you're riding on the straight road because that one i tested they're usually shorter so let's see 21 it's kind of uh, very similar to gt used to be pulling up and down like you know it's like let the motor cool down feels like oh like motor is getting like confused should i go that fast or not and that's uh, um, what i feel right now kind of struggling back and forth but i'm going about 24 miles an hour on gps and i'll stop for the okay actually not so let's see how fast this bike can go on this stretch is this one should be very strong like very long so i'm going about 24 miles now 25 and uh display show me 26 already and i'm still at 25 on gps and i weigh 215 pounds so i'm a little bit on the heavy side but i think uh people will buy gtx uh, mostly if they if they are larger because the gtx actually for good for a larger person and it comes with more features this one is great for shorter person as a entry level 26 miles an hour so far so it's getting 26 27 it just hit 27 i saw on the gt on G, huh, gps and I'm gonna stop here so the top speed uh it's hit 28 but i think it's maximum 27 so far i would say 27 but uh, i want to see if this bike actually can climb the hill because uh, that's something we want to test it out to see if this bike can climb that steep hill and we'll check it out as well And let's go. Uh, acceleration from the zero to whatever speed is not super fast versus GTX much quick acceleration. And I don't usually do zero to 20 test, so I don't think I'm gonna do this on this bike. I don't think it will perform super better. I think GTX much fast acceleration. But I'm saying that when regardless which one you pick, it's kind of a unique experience riding. And I don't see uh, any problem riding with uh, no rear shock, like hard tail. It's much softer seat, so it's absorbed a lot of bumps as well. And uh, it feels really comfortable. Should be great for long distance ride because uh, it's very similar to GT. Actually, it's like GT model seat. And I'm about 24 miles right now. So it will keep up about 23, 24 miles, I guess, on the top speed. So this bike is not really a fast uh, uh, bike, but it's very comfortable to ride. And it is faster than uh, previous model, uh, like previous, I mean, uh, version, because the previous version was only going up to 20. And this one, so far the top was like 27 but very solid 26 uh, but now it's only 24 and i'm actually going a little bit up over here uphill a little bit so that's why this speed is maybe not flat ground so it's a little bit uphill so it's but it jumped to 27 but that's not really accurate i think right now 25 and a half that's uh display actually show pretty much accurate information that's good and um it was about almost thousand 
pig pile so it does have a lot of pig pile so hopefully it will make up to the hill as previous model and I wonder how fast it will make uh, I think the previous one was making about four miles an hour the bullet v1 model and the bullet uh, GT model was making about eight miles the same as GTX was about eight miles an hour almost nine so GTX made up to nine but usually 500 watt motors will not make to the hill so I was actually very surprised last time when it made it most of the 750 not always make it and now I'm going about 27 miles 28 or oh what wow, 28 29 28 now and it says 28.7 on display uh, I think it's a little bit decline over here very a little bit but it's hit 28 so incline would work 28.5 on display but I would say it's solid 27 28 like so it depends on your weight but most likely if you are under 200 pounds you're gonna hit 27 maybe 28 on the flat all right so i'm close to the hill now and let's test it out after three miles the bike might overheat a little bit so that's why i'm not sure if it will make it it's a lot of stress going three miles on top speed with my weight on and then going to the steep hill over here uh, i can tell you that last bike i tested over here uh, 750 watt motor, e-moped style, didn't make it even half, so we'll see how this one will do. If this one will make it, uh, then definitely more than 500 watt motor, or at least it's powerful enough. If it doesn't, I will not really be disappointed, but again, we'll test it out. So I'll stop on the stop sign, wait until zero, and go from zero so it's going on gps about 11 miles 14 15 and we'll see how it will handle i can balance about up to three miles and after three miles there's no point to balance so it's uh, about 10 miles an hour now the motor works okay i don't feel like uh, any crying from the motor some bikes start to cry <laughs> they're making like crazy noises sometimes so far i passed the point where it's 500 motors stop working over here so it's already a good sign and i'm about seven miles an hour and keep going actually so i'm about seven miles seven miles an hour i am shown almost uh half battery a little bit more than half battery indication but i think i have more usually it's not accurate so it's about six miles an hour six miles an hour actually seven because seven over here seven over here so it's seven miles an hour wow no way seven miles an hour seven miles an hour and it made it let me open yeah i didn't hear any extra noises no any around 1200 peak i actually didn't i didn't pay attention i'm not sure if you can see it what the top peak power was but wow it made it uh, all the way up and definitely this motor is not 500 i'm not sure why they put the sticker 500 on it but i think it's a much better performance in uphill area so let's say i will have a video i actually i have video which with 14 bicycle i tested only one bike another made here with 500 watt and most of them would have issue after making quarter of the hill or half hill and the issue would be from the air code to controller failure or the motor failure it would make some crank noises and some of them would work not the same after this hill i did ruin few of the motors and few of the controller and actually the recent one i tried 1000 watt motor over here it made up to the hill nine eight miles an hour which 1000 watt motor and as soon as i made it i got air codes because it got overheated so far the battery is not that hot 
and so far it's amazing it's made up to this hill but let's go more okay so let's go downhill and actually let's test the brakes why not right so i'm gonna stop by the car and i'm going about 24 27 miles 28 30, 34 oh fuck. Oops. But uh, yeah, when I start to brake, I feel like a uh, rear wheel was sliding. So I got 34 miles an hour. Uh, downhill 20, 34, but it stopped pretty good. It's basically locked uh, in the rear uh, wheel, which is great. But I didn't, re as you can see, I didn't pedal it much. I don't want to pedal. And um, on average, I'm getting a lot of peak power, uh, some 1200, 1300, and up to 1400 peak. So versus GTX would go up to, some people say up to 2000, I saw like 1900 before, and that's pretty good. So if you're looking for like a much faster bike, then you might want to consider GTX depend on your side GTX is it's like more premium top of the line they have uh, the new model will have a GT V2 models which uh, also let's see how pedaling uphill oh it's actually a real nice pedaling uh, nice pedaling uphill much quicker of course so if you choose the GT model V2 it will be exactly the same size as this model but you're gonna get um, the motor is the same as comes on GTX, so it would be faster, about at least 35 miles, that's what I expect, because it's a little bit smaller, so it might be lighter bike gonna be. It comes with nice tires, new tires, probably like same like this one, maybe better. Also it comes full suspension, so it gets a real shock on the rear, which a little bit not as good as GTX. GTX has uh, better shocks, but again, uh, it's a bit less expensive, but you get all this performance, mostly like speed. And I like the smaller one, so if you're not planning to pedal, and I recommend GT because you're gonna feel like a riding on the smaller, it's more maneuver, a really cool bike. The bigger one, it's a little bit different, but so far it's really hard, or might be hard to choose which one, but if you're a taller person, like 511 of course GTX would be probably the best choice um, not only performance and also not to worry because if you don't want GTX because it's a lot of power you can choose X model bullet X will have exactly the same future like this one the only reason it's a little bit cheaper because the X model have uh, older version fork so the fork will not be as good as this model but it's supposed to have the same motor supposed to have the same battery same brakes like this one and it's only like i think 300 right now so if you're a taller person and you want to have it and same tires so if you're a taller person and you want to buy bicycle which will be better for taller person and you don't need a uh, long mileage this one should last for about i think 70 miles on throttle only with pedaling with light pedaling will get probably 25 30 miles maybe more Depend on the speed you're going to, because looks like um, on pedal assist level they put a um, restriction based on the power peak. Actually, no, I got, I uh, know, not really, I was wrong. Wow, let's test it out. Um, actually, I was wrong. Here's a gen one can go up up to the top speed looks like i'm gonna test it one more time right now over here so i think i was wrong before it was attached so let me try again so i'm on pedal assist level one and just going flat i got about 400 peak power and 80 miles 90 miles 20 miles 21 22 24 and 23 actually Oh, interesting. Okay, so I gave you wrong information before. 
So this bike with pedal assist one, two, three, the throttle is not actually depend on the pedal assist level. That's a good actually, I like it. Some people don't, but I like it this way. So you can go up to the top speed on throttle only. So let's go and pedal it and see how comfortable actually for more pedaling because I find like some people say it's not comfortable but so far I find the GT or GTX comfortable pedal I know it's not good for the knee sometimes but it's not as bad as even larger bikes so if you buy a bigger bike basically the handlebar basically I need to pull a little bit front but looks like not bad and now I'm pedaling about 12 miles an hour on pedal assist level 1 it only takes 64 volt watt so 49 actually well that makes a difference because um, when you like pedaling at higher speed let's say pedal assist level 2 uh, it's all 162 watt so that's why I'm saying if you plan to pedal it you're gonna get about three or four times better range uh, because um, it takes about three times less power mostly on the flat ground and if you lighter much less and I did put 20 psi on the back and the front was about 29 I think so if you want softer right you may put less but it can go up to 35 psi and let's check out the front fork so front fork actually works good as you can see uh, when I'm braking you can see it's moving but it is pretty nice fork um, I never reached a bottom down so far but again uh, I would not recommend to go off-road uh, since it's hardtail it still can do off-road pretty much well probably better than many other bicycles you may have but fork is much better on this model and you can see when I brake front brake it will move even so you can lock it in if you want better performance like uphill when you're biking and pedaling then you might do that so, and the battery is uh, blinking so it's like maybe 11 25 percent so 22 on GPS 23 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 now. Almost dead battery and GPS, yeah, 27 on GPS and then brake. Wow, it's good braking. 28 and a half on display almost and 28. So it did get 27. Uh, even the battery almost dead, so it's keep the power pretty well actually and That's again all about for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye